Hello, and welcome to our Nativity Devotionals. This is December 27th, or devotional number 27. I am Jim DeVore, the pastor at Cornerstone Church of Little Rock in Southern California. So glad to have you with us. We're going to get right to our devotion. We are at the wise men now. And um, even though you're looking at a familiar picture uh, that I showed you yesterday, the ones following will be new to you. I just really like this picture. So it's going to get some extra play in our devotionals today. We are at the part of the wise men with Jesus. We are in Matthew chapter two, and we are going to pick it up in verse three. So the wise men have arrived in Jerusalem. They're looking for uh, the one who has been born king of the Jews. They've come to worship him. Verse three of Matthew two says, when Herod the king heard this, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So let's just stop there. And, and remember, we're pondering and treasuring, as Mary did, um, the things of the birth of Jesus. So um, why is Herod troubled? Well, he, he's a king. And these guys are coming along looking for another king. He's the king of the Jew, Herod is. And so he doesn't like the idea there's going to be some other king. So he's definitely troubled. And when Herod's troubled, all Jerusalem is troubled because Herod uh, is just a, just a history of a very violent man who uh, killed people, killed his own household. So if he was upset, everybody was upset because you never knew what he was going to do next. OK, and so that's the Herod we're dealing with. So he wants to find this king as well. He's going to say one thing, but meaning another. So he assembles the chief priests and the scribes of the people because he realized that this also is a spiritual issue. OK, that he needs his spiritual leaders to help him find him. He inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, verse five, in Bethlehem of Judea, for it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who shall shepherd my people Israel. OK. All right. So Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. So Herod says, okay, well, how long ago did the star appear? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get an answer to that in a minute as we continue to work our way through the devotionals. Not so much now, but as later. But we're gonna find out it was about probably two or three years ago because um, Herod's gonna respond to finding the king in a very horrible manner. Save that thought, okay? So he summoned the wise men, brought them into a secret meeting. And then he says to them, he sent them to Bethlehem because that's what the, what the fulfillment of prophecy is. The Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. And he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. Well, we know that's an outright lie because he tries to kill him as soon as he finds out where he was. Okay. All righty. Um, this this is not, you know, kind of those, this is not the sweet, wonderful part of the, uh, of the nativity story. I mean, we've got our wise men and we've got them searching and they're getting close. And, and now they bumped into to Herod, who's giving them information and is lying to them. Okay, we're going to find that out later, but we know that from knowing the story. And so what, what do we ponder and treasure here? We, we ponder and treasure that even in the midst of wicked rulers, of people that are lying and not telling the truth that are double-minded and have separate plans. So they're pretending that God's plan will still go through. Perhaps that's uh, good for us to know in a day of chaos in our own lives, may it, that, that even though there's chaos around us and chaos on a governmental level, level and on a leading level, that God is still in control and he will fulfill his plan. It's really that simple. And so may you find peace in that. Listen, I've, I've, I think I've even said it on the devotionals before, but I say it in my life is that we have chaos in the world. Now, God will erase all that chaos at some point and bring it all to order. But that order will only be experienced by those who already commit to him as the God who's coming to bring that. Okay. But he's chosen not to do that right now, because he literally allows the chaos for it to call it for us to call out beyond ourselves and say, we need something more than ourselves to lead us and guide us and direct us. Something from out of this world is going to need to come into my world so to bring me some direction and peace. And that's what Jesus has already done. That's what the Christmas story is all about. The nativity story is all about that. So here's the point for you and I, is that even though you still live in a world with chaos, as a believer in Jesus Christ, you still have the chaos but now you have hope in the chaos. 
without believing in Jesus Christ, you have no hope. Is there other things you could hope in? Well, sure. But none of those are brought to you by the man who said that he was God, by the man who died on the cross and rose from the dead, by the man who as a baby was searched out for by angels and shepherds and wise men, all claiming that he was God, very God in human flesh. So from the beginning, for all eternity, Jesus has been known as God and has had the authority of God. And that's why you go to him. That's why your Christmas story is about him, because he is the God man. He has all that available. So rest and trust in him, even though there's chaos and unpredictability in your world. Thank you so much for joining us on this December 27th. Uh, and I just want to say happy birthday to my daughter, Jessica, on this day. And now let's just go on. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. And join us again tomorrow as we continue our Nativity devotionals.